Hello and welcome to Code Instinct. In this quick course, I'm gonna be showing you on how to make typewriter effect with CSS only. Now let's get started. Here, I have created main project folder and two separate HTML and CSS files under the project folder. Make sure you have already followed the file structure accordingly as shown in this video. Now, let's continue to HTML part. We we'll begin with the head section. In this section, as usual I've always include the CSS file into this section. I'm using the custom font from Google and I chose Josephine Sand 600 for today's tutorial. If you don't know how to do this, don't worry I have included the tutorial video at the top right corner of this video. Now, continue to body section. In this section I will create a diff for text wrapper and a sample text under the diff. Save the file and we can see sample text as now appears on the right side. Everything looks good. Now let's moving on to CSS part. In the body section, I set the margin to 0. Padding top to 20%. Also set the display to flex and justify content to center. This will make the our sample text will stay in the center. For the background color, follow the code as displayed in this video. Moving on to text wrapper and h1. Put the font family to customize the sample text. I'll make the overflow hidden. And then create the cursor for 0.15 m solid with color code as follows. Set the white space to no wrap. Then, I'll let the margin just zero in auto. I'm going to customize a bit for letter spacing set to 5 pixel and font size set to 6. Now, we will set the animation for type writing effects. First, I'll give the animation to the typing horizontal scroll and then create the animation for blinking cursor below the typing animation. Set the keyframes of typing animation to 0 to 100%. As we notice that, the cursor is not blinking yet. I'm gonna add blinking effects to the cursor by making it transparent from the beginning 0.0 second and the end 0.5 second and then make it visible in 50% keyframe. So from 0.0 to 0.5 second keyframe, the cursor animation will goes from transparent, visible, and then transparent. It will loop infinitely, so it will give a blinking effect to the cursor. Now, save the file. Make sure you missed nothing in your CSS file and let's preview our project. The horizontal text scrolling and the blinking cursor worked perfectly. Giving us a realistic look of typing text effects. Alright, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe and click on notification to get our latest video tutorial. See you in the next videos.